Hello guys, this is Mark the Geek. In this video, I want to show you guys my favorite browser that I've been using like forever on Android phones. Um, let me clear this up. Uh, my favorite browser is Dolphin HD. Uh, Dolphin a Browser HD. Um, it's a very good app, um, good browser. I love it because it, it makes, I don't know, it, it makes browsing very fluid for me. And I've tried so many browsers and I keep going back to this one. So um, let's show you guys. Once you open the browser, you're gonna see this screen. This is like your home page. You could change the home page, but I really like this home page because look at this. You could create shortcuts. You can make it look like this, and you can make you could put whatever browser, whatever website you like as your favorites, and put it here. You could put up to ten. That's pretty cool. You go ahead and click on one, and voila. Uh, you could create open more tabs new tabs and you could go ahead and open another tab and that's that's what I like about this browser you know it makes accessing um, website of fast you know that's the way I like it you open the browser and get to it so um, you could close the tabs like this too if you close that the last tab it goes back to to your home screen uh, very cool right there look at that very nice okay that's one of the things I like you can create tabs you could switch by tabs like you can see here you can switch between tabs very easily um, when you swipe to your right you can review the bookmarks all the other bookmarks that you have um, here you could you could go ahead and make a bookmark of whatever website you have right there opened uh, quick access you can access your bookmark your history your settings it also has gestures they work very good but I don't like to use them um, but they work very good I've I heard a lot of people who likes it uh, or you gotta um, you could customize like create write a letter and open like Facebook or whatever it's very cool um, when you swipe to your left you get this other bar it's um, for add-ons or plugins or whatever and has very good useful plugins um, here you got full screen mode the full screen mode on big screens like this one look gorgeous let's go to like for example let's go to Android and me look at that looks gorgeous full screen looks amazing so um, here you could go back to your normal screen and here you click you can see the plugins you got um, installed in your browser right now and you like right now I got screen cut my PDF and desktop toggles um, if you click there you could go ahead and see more plugins available and all these plugins are very very useful believe me if you get here you will find something you like okay let's go back and um, another good feature that it has been updated has been brought to dolphin is sonar it is sonar is um, search voice search that's what they call it they call it sonar but it's voice search um, let's say I want to go give it a command like go to Facebook I just shake the phone and will automatically open up a sonar <clears throat> it looks very cool so let's go ahead Open Facebook. Look at that. Very nice. Open Facebook. Very cool. Uh, let's say I want to go to ESPN. ESPN.com. Look at that. Very nice. Let's say I want to go to New um, NewYorkTimes.com. NewYorkTimes.com. Look at that! Very nice. You can also give it commands like "Go back." Go back. So I went back. You can also say "Go forward." forward <laughs> very nice 
Very nice. I think you can also say new tab. Let's see. Okay. New tab. Look at that. Very nice. <laughs> Um, okay, let's show you guys now um, the plugins that I really like. Um, oh, other other thing over here, almost forgot. Here you can see all your open tabs. If you got lots of tabs open, you go ahead and open lots of tab. Very nice. You could jump to whatever whatever one you you want. Coat of Mac, um, Android Central. Okay, and here you click here, and you can see all the open tabs. Very nice. You could go ahead from here, close them too. Very nice. Um, let me show you guys my favorite plugins that I've been using a lot here. Um, let's say I want to go to, um, mm, let's say, let's go to Kotaku because they have sometimes lots of images. Um, let's say I want to capture this little tiny image right there. Let's go to Screen Cut. That's one of my plugins. Um, the screen Cut lets you capture a region, capture visible content, or capture the whole page. So let's say I want to capture region. I click on that, and like you can see right here, there's like a cropping tool right here. So let's say I want to, I want to just take an image of this. Boom, boom, right there. Um, right here you can see cancel and OK when you click OK boom It took an image of that little piece From here you could go ahead and save to SD You can save it to the SD and it will be in your gallery or you can go ahead and share it via text messaging um, Facebook um, Any 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 Twitter whatever so if I save to SD I could go back to my S to my gallery and it's gonna be in screen screenshots right here. Look at right here. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Awesome. That's a that's an amazing plugin. And the same way you could go ahead and, and capture the whole page. Let's capture the whole page. Look at that. <laughs> it would capture the whole page. Um, the other plugin that I really like is um, PDF. Um, this one. What it lets you do is it creates a PDF file of whatever website you are on. If you want to create a, a, a PDF from this page from Kotaku, I go ahead and save and it will automatically, you see right there, it will automatically save a PDF format of the website to your phone. Let's open, let's go. Um, you could choose your favorite PDF reader. Uh, my favorite is Easy PDF, and there it is. Look at that. Look at that, guys. This is a PDF file, and look at that. It even creates. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? So this is a PDF format of Kotaku, of the website. And from here, you could go ahead and edit it. If you got a very nice PDF like Easy PDF Pro, you could go ahead and edit it and everything. Very nice, very beautifully. It works awesomely. Um, another one, another one that I really like is desktop. The, uh, this is called desktop um, desktop mode. It, 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 once you click it, it lets you change the agent of the browser. Like if you wanna instead of mobile, you wanna you want it to load um um full desktop websites. It will let you do that. So right here, when every time you click it, it switches to Android mode, and it switches to desktop mode. So let's say I go to um, let's say I go to okay, um, let's say I go to Android Central. Some websites they will not have. Um, they will not let you use a uh, full desktop mode on your phones, but let's try um, Let me see ESPN.com <clears throat> Look at that guys A full Like you can see right here you could go ahead and load up a full desktop mode because right now it's on desktop mode and it will stay there you could go ahead and here 
it would stay there. Um, let's go to ESPN.com, CNN. Okay. Okay. Wow. Okay. It also lets you, CNN.com. Look at that. Full browser. That's an amazing experience right there. And let's say I want to switch back to um, to to Android mode, and it switches back to Android mode. This is amazing. This is one of the easiest ways to switch back and forth between desktop mode and mobile mode. It's an amazing app for real. And I'm telling you, you guys are gonna like it. If you guys haven't tried it, try it. Believe me, you're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. And that's it, guys. I hope you guys like my video. And let me know what's your favorite browser. But honestly, this is my favorite browser. I tried so many browsers, and I keep going back to this one. There's a lot of good browsers on on Android. That's the great thing about Android. Um, there's choices. So let me know what browser do you like. This is my favorite. What's yours? Till next time, guys.